Hi everyone, so this is the first video in our Python course. In this video, we're going to be writing a small Python program, which is going to take some input, like our name, and then it's going to display some information back to us. So maybe like a greeting, like hello or hi, uh, along with our save name within our program. So what we can do is we can open up a web browser. I'm going to open up Google Chrome here. And when you open up your web browser, I want you to go and Google Python Online IDEs. So when you go and Google Python Online IDEs, one of the first results you should get is this link here. You can use whatever IDE you want, but this is the one that I use and this is the one that I prefer. So if you go to www.programiz.com, you'll get to this compiler. So when we open this up, we can actually see that we've got a default program already running. And if we just go and run this to see what output we get, it displays the two words, hello world, onto the screen, which is fine. This is one of the you know, simplest programs that we can create. You can run a hello world program and make sure that everything works and that you don't have another problem with you know, your compiler or your computer or something like that. So the first thing I see when I look at this program is I see these first um, couple of lines here and they're in green. And if you look at them a little bit closer, you can see that there's a hashtag sign. And a hashtag sign in Python tells us that this is a comment. So if something is a comment, it's not recognized by the compiler or it's not recognized by the computer. It's only for us as developers or programmers to read to help us understand the program. So you could have a comment that says, this is my first program, or a comment saying, this is my program that prints out, hello world. Now, with smaller programs, it's not really needed to comment your code, but as you're making bigger programs, it might be beneficial to add in a couple of comments, because if you go back to that same code in six months time, or if somebody else is looking at your code, and they're reviewing it and they don't quite know what's going on if you have a comment or a couple of comments within your source code it's much easier for other people to understand but for this example we're going to delete all these comments because it's not needed we know exactly what this program is doing so let's take a small step from changing this from saying hello world to saying hello and then our name so I'm going to delete the word world and I'm going to put in my name. If you're following along, you can go and put in your name. And we're going to go and hit the run button. And then you can see on the right hand side in our shell that we get our output. And our output says, hello, Ryan, or it'll be hello, whatever your name is. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go and get some input from the user. So we want to make our program so that our program asks the user what their name is and then we're going to print out hello whatever their name is because if I have this program here and I give this program to you it's not going to work because it's not going to greet you by your name it's going to just print out hello Ryan so this program only works for me so we need to go and change it up a little bit. So what we can do is we can store our input that we receive from the user and the user will provide the input through a keyboard. So if you don't know what a variable is, just think of it as like a box. So it's a place where we can store information. So when we go and get the user's input, we need want to store that in a variable and you could call your variable var short for variable 
but we usually give our variables more meaningful names. So since our variable is going to store a name, I'm going to call my variable name. Then I'm going to set it equal to the input, so the input of the user. So to do this, we just simply say input. And after we say input, we don't want to just hope that the user knows what they have to input. So maybe they put in a number as their age, or maybe they actually put in their name, or maybe they put in their address. We need to tell the user exactly what information we want them to enter. So after our input, we're going to place an opening and a closing round bracket. And inside those two round brackets, we're going to put in two quotes. And within these, we're going to just say, please enter your name. After we put in, please enter your name, we're going to actually run this and see what output we get. But it's not going to actually work for us yet, but I just want to run it to show you what we get. So when I hit this run button, we see Hello Ryan. So that's nothing got to do with the program actually knowing my name's Ryan. That's only there because we've got this print Hello Ryan hard coded in there. So we don't actually want this in there, so we can delete that out of there. So now we only have one line of code. And then if you look over here, it says, please enter your name. And if we were to enter a name like Chris and press enter, we get this nasty error message. And it says, Chris is not defined. So what we're doing here is we're using the name Chris. We could use any name. We could use Ryan. And we're trying to place it into the name variable. But the name variable is never used. So what we need to do is we want to go and print out that name variable. So to do this, we just say print. And then we use our opening and closing round bracket. And then with inside print, we'll set our name variable, which is name. So if we go and run this now, and we put in the name Chris, we get Chris printed out. And if we were to run this again and put in a different name, so if we were to put in Ryan, we get Ryan as our output. Now, this is good, but we want to go and say something along with Ryan. So we want to greet Ryan or whatever person's using this application. So we want to say hello in front of the person's name. So to do this, we can go back to our code and we can put two quotes in. And within these quotes, this is going to be our text hello. Because if we didn't put in these quotes, it wouldn't actually work because the computer doesn't know that we want to display the word hello. And then after this, we want to put a plus sign because we want to add hello to the name. So I'm going to go and run this now and see what it looks like. It's going to look a little bit funny. So again, please enter your name. So we put in our name is Ryan. And now we've got hello Ryan, but it's all in one word. There's no space between the O and the OR in Ryan. So to change this, all we have to do is go back to our code and between this O and the quote, we put a space. And if we put a space in there and run this again, we can put in our name as Ryan. That says, hello, Ryan. And if we have a different name, like Chris, we can put Chris in and it says, hello, Chris. And this will work for any name. So again, we can try Amy and it says, hello, Amy. So we met our first Python program that takes input from the user. In this case, it asks for their name, and then it prints out a greeting along with their name. Now, this is a really simple, basic application, but you can really come up with some creative ideas on what you can do. So maybe, for example, you want to go and create a calculator, right? And you ask the user to enter in two different numbers, and then you do that calculation.
and then you print out the answer to that calculation to the screen. That's just another simple example of something that we could do using a Python program. But I would suggest to try and get multiple inputs from the user and then do some calculations with them inputs and print them back out to the screen. But if you're having trouble with variables or you're having trouble with printing out things to the screen or anything else, don't worry. This is only the first video where we're just kind of getting a feel for what we can actually do with Python. We'll be going through a whole course on Python and we'll be covering everything that we can use to create whatever application you might think of.